The trend to add high school career courses continues to grow. The Texas Education Agency is looking at the possibility of cutting funding to some of them. KXAN's Lauren Landman takes us to the Luling ISD, a district that says lessons like this set students up for success. Most large school districts have been offering career and technology education or CTE courses for years. But in Luling, these are new opportunities. We're up to about 17 programs of study. Programs like engineering, architecture and construction, and cosmetology. The interest in these courses skyrocketed. The district says 75% of all students in high school are taking at least one CTE course. They're beginning to, to catch on to the idea that there's purpose for why they come here every day. Part of that purpose is to earn good money and a stable job after earning their diploma. Those are high wage, high demand jobs that we don't just need to send the message that, oh, you got to go to college or you just won't get anywhere. You just got to go to college. But the Texas Education Agency wants to make sure there really is money in these careers. The agency recently presented a plan to cut certain programs that aren't considered high wage careers. What TEA's purpose is in, in reviewing it to just make sure that we're not putting something out there for students that, that's a dead end. Funding most in jeopardy is for cosmetology. Just add it to Luling's roster. The TEA says it's in the review process. Luling ISD is keeping its fingers crossed and set to continue introducing more courses. Lauren Landman, KXAN News. According to the TEA's website, if it decides to cut the money for cosmetology programs, the decision will be made early next year.